Well, that was a nervy game, definitely. We are through to the semi-finals of the Europa League, which is the important point. Um, since when were we playing David De Gea back in 2016? Like, my days, that goalkeeper, uh, Johnson or whatever the whatever his name is, my days, he made some unbelievable saves. Credit to Copenhagen, they were absolutely phenomenal during this game. Uh, they didn't have a shot on target, I think, but they caused us some real real issues and they were they were great to be fair so fair play to them they deserve to be in the quarterfinals and uh, thankfully we did get the better of them on the day uh, a quality did show and yeah penchester united strike it, strike again but it's a definite penalty like we get in the box a lot and you know because of that we get a lot of penalties and yeah like there's been two or three debatable ones this season out of the 21 that we've had but this was another stonewaller and Fernandez steps up and coolly slots it away thankfully and um, but yeah it was a very very nervy game of course it went to extra time but there were countless countless chances that we had phenomenal saves from the goalkeeper as I say Fernandez had a couple outside the box Martial had a few nice intricate dribbles but just couldn't get his final shot away a lot of the time um, speaking of that, in, the, in extra time, Martial had a nice dribble, back heeled it to Mata, and it was another unbelievable save. Uh, Rashford had a couple of shots saved. Greenwood had a couple of shots saved. We hit the woodwork four times. So, yeah, it was one of those games, but thankfully, you know, the quality shone through and we managed to win. And we're either against Sevilla or Wolves in the, uh, the semi finals. Of course, tomorrow we will figure out who that is. Uh, it's hard to tell. Wolves are going to need to win, uh, you know, if they want to get in European football next season, they're going to have to win the uh, Europa League, which will get them in the Champions League, because obviously Arsenal won the FA Cup, so that means that seventh place doesn't get a place in Europa League. So yeah, um, it's a tough one to call, because Sevilla are on really, really good form, so yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see who we do play in the semi-final, but we're there, Inter are obviously through as well, and I can't remember who they potentially will be playing in their other leg. Um, but I fully expect Inter Milan to get to the final, so that would be brilliant. Man United versus Inter Milan in the European, uh, the Europa League final, which is what I predicted would happen back in May when it was originally supposed to happen, uh, <laughs> May twenty first, I think, uh, prior to the the COVID virus. But yeah, anyhow, you know, there's not much else to say. To be fair, I think Martial played well. Uh, I think Fred played well up until when he was subbed off. I think Bailly was the best defender for us today. Uh, you know, blocked a few shots, did very well. Um, other than that, you know, there was a few half decent performances, but we weren't we weren't anywhere near our best, and we certainly need to be with the rest of the competition that is left uh, in the semi final. And should we progress to the final, there'll be no disrespect to Copenhagen, but a lot better teams than they are. They just performed well on the day, in fairness. So yeah, one nil. In extra time we're through and that's all that matters so let's bring on the semi-final oh let's turn this off first and then we'll bring on the semi-final <laughs> 